Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously. Create dozens of quick lists. Display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Trading Show. We are Wednesday, June 21st, 2017, the, the longest day of the year. And uh, I mean, uh, we have a, a pretty funny market uh, again, up and down in many sectors. Uh, some make sense and some don't. Uh, uh, look, uh, We'll start first thing first. Uh, the U.S. dollar do, do, is not doing nothing, and uh, the Nikkei began a correction here. Uh, the the uh, China market was testing its support. The London market is going down within its downtrend, and uh, since this morning, the the Nasdaq bounced back, but the Dow started up, went down. The the spy is at zero right now. And uh, the TSX uh, started on the upside, and it's at the, at the zero point also. So that's what happened. You see the Nasdaq market near making a new high for the day, while the Dow Jones is back within its downtrend. The SPY also, and the TSX went up and 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 then came completely down. So um, uh, I'll go uh, uh, around uh, the uh, sector once more, but. Uh, only one sector seems to be interesting, but I'm not trusting the movement. It is, it's the gold on the energy stock. It, 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 it looked okay for a while, but uh, it was a way too risky and, and, and the movement came back down. So um, uh, let's go through a couple of uh, news here. Only the most important, uh, FedEx is at earning that pushes them up uh, 388 to 425. Adobe 95 to 102, uh, Actuant 31 to 32, but uh, it's, the investor seems to be uh, unsatisfied with the result. And the car max 99 cents to a dollar 13. It started on the upside and it's now near breaking down. So uh, Shire here is going up because they have the approval from the uh, federal, uh, the from the Food and Drug Association in the states, and. Um, so they have they had an approbation, and uh, CA Inc. Uh, seems like it's going to be acquired by BMC Software, so that's why it's going up. 
and uh, advanced micro device is entering a new market uh, the, from uh, uh, Intel Xenon. I don't know exactly what it means. So uh, Nemaska has an update saying that they are going to do their first uh, test uh, soon. Has not much effect on the stock. And Sears said that they are going to proceed soon, probably to the liquidation of the company. And that's it for the news for today. So look at the energy sector. USO went up at first and it's now going down. So you see it rose at the opening and then came back down following its, its downtrend uh, and also the, the, uh, in the short term and also uh, on its intraday chart as well. And uh, the gas uh, went up this morning and came right back down. And so now the stocks are ne negative, retaking their downtrend and also their bearish cycle. So it was, a, it was not a signal at all on, the, on the, the, the oil. And look at the gold. The gold is bouncing back a little bit, but the stocks are bouncing much more. So, uh, and uh, they are topping right now. So let's put it on a five minute chart. And you see we have a triple summit at the moment. While the gold, you see, the gold has not uh, continued its movement. So if the gold would break down in the afternoon, the stock will come back. And uh, in the mining, there's also a little pullback and nothing serious. At, at, at the best, uh, look, your Labrador is breaking down. So tech is not yet a new bullish cycle and it will still be within a downtrend and first quantum is the same. So that could be considered as a bottom. I expect to have a some pullback over the next few days. But you know, whatever you do there, it's got to be on a very, very short term because it's just a an upward movement within a downtrend. For most of uh, the other, and uh, is the question bar open? It is, okay, so we are waiting for your questions right now. So consumer discretionary, you see, look, it's in the middle of its sideways movement. There's nothing we should do there. And uh, the telecom are, are coming to test their support once more. The financials are going towards their support. So you see, there's nothing bullish there at all. And the industrials are uh, totally sideways without any movement. And the real estates are sideways without any movement at all too. Utilities are the same situation. The, the healthcare also uh, ready for a, a reversal of the trend, but it's not happening. And the staples, you see how stable it is there too? And uh, the, the technology. So you could put all of those charts one on top of the other. Look at, uh, look at that sideways movement here. And, and, and look at that one here on staples. Look at the one on healthcare. And uh, look at the one on utilities and uh, real estate. You know, they're all the same. So, uh, uh, so wait, we have to wait until we see a movement initiating itself somewhere. Why don't you, uh, why don't you do this show in English every day? Uh, because uh, for some reason, uh, I'm running out of uh, time and, and uh, resources. And it's also because uh, of uh, the, uh, uh, the number of attendees. So uh, uh, I, I have to choose within all, everything that we, we, uh, that we do. And uh, so uh, we, we have to concentrate and uh, where, where, where the best effort can be. Uh, if I get in HGU now, where is the exit? You sure you want to get in HGU because HGU goes with uh, TTG, uh, uh, TT, uh, uh, G, uh, GD. So uh, HGU goes up when TTGD goes up. But uh, right now, you know, uh, uh, as I explained just before, uh, the, the stocks are not in this situation. But if you want to buy uh, TTGD, uh, uh, HGU, which is like buying DTGD, uh, at least uh, you gotta wait uh, for and 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 if you want to do it, I don't do it on the on a very long term though, yeah, you know, just for the the bullish cycle itself. But you know, I would just make sure that the gold really goes. You know, look at the volume is vo is very low right now, so I would just make sure that the gold goes there. Uh, so, so if you buy a HGU, look, look at this, okay, uh, HG, 
HGU. So if you buy HGU when it when it breaks at fifteen ten, okay. So and 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 if the signal would happen to be a false signal, so the worst would be fourteen ninety, okay. So you have a twenty cents risk on this. So. Hey, have you seen um, this uh, stock uh, this morning? Uh, what's the uh, again, again, again? Uh, I have it here. Uh, that's DCTH. Let's look at it again. Um, I'll put it in one minute. See the movement of the stock this morning. The volume was huge. So the stock went from 27 to to to, uh, to 35, and uh, every five seconds the stock was making a million share traded this morning. So we had uh, this movement to play with this morning, and there was one yesterday too as well. And uh, for but for now the stock is going sideways like it did, uh, like, like it did uh, here, and there was a movement in the afternoon. Okay, so. Uh, uh, and uh, later, later in the morning at noon time, and none in the afternoon. But it does. It, uh, but uh, you never know. Something can happen again in the afternoon. So past 35, it's going to be the new uh, 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 buy signal. Where would you uh, buy tech? Uh, would I? That's the question. Uh, tech um, is here. Look. Tech is within its sideway movement, but in one minute it seems to be impressive. But look at it this way, okay? That's how we should look at it. Look, it's going, it's going down. But there was there was its lowest here and then here, and now the resistance is right there. So on the very short term here, I I made the line a little bit. Uh, uh, too small, uh, too far. I'll I'll do it again here. You see, this is the resistance, and this is the short-term movement. So there was sig buy signals there everywhere. So right now, even though there was another one here, it's not out of the trend. So I'll come back after a break. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and free live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try marketgurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. So you see, uh, both uh, stocks uh, look like in the, they, they are in the same situation. You see, uh, you have a first quantum here. On its next move, it could be interesting. So let's see it here in five minutes. So you see, look, like first quantum, 10, 15, okay? And, and tech, it's going to be like, you know, if you want to enter here, it's okay. It's just that I really doubt that it's going to pierce here uh, fast. So right now, from uh, uh, 2044 with a potential of 2062, I don't think it's worth the, the risk, okay? So wait until it comes to 2070, approximately. And after a pause like this one, this one, and this one, if it breaks through 
the 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 the, uh, the sideway movement here, which is the top here on this chart, that would be like 2075. My call. And uh, but but today uh, well, we we had the the, the biotech that were uh, really 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 surging, and uh, uh, we we had uh, where is that that this one here has provided. Uh, a couple of uh, nice uh, signal this morning you see uh, right after the opening there was one here and after that there was another one here and another one here so uh, there was a few uh, signal on on that uh, uh, ATF direction uh, this morning and uh, also many others so um, the uh, look at the energy stock I told you earlier I uh, was not uh, interesting now it's now the uh, they, they, they broke down in the last a couple of minutes and uh, I think uh, the gold should follow the movement too. Look, uh, look at it's USO that finally broke down so that's why the stocks are going down as well and uh, un unless uh, the gold stocks are really surging on the upside the, the the, the gold surge on the upside, the gold stock may go, but at the moment they're coming down once more. So uh, I don't know, you know, uh, so far the gold is the only one that's up. The, the, the silver is down, the gas is down, the, uh, the oil is down, and, uh, uh, and only the gold is up a little bit. So if the gold comes back down here, you're going to lose the movement on, on this. Uh, so for, uh, be careful before buying HGU. And the mining are going nowhere. I think they're going to come back too. And in many cases now the sectors are uh, coming down. So uh, and uh, like like uh, it looks like the the industrial will get negative again. The financials are going down. The telecoms are are going down with a new a low for the day today. So you know the situation is not not really bullish. The gold could could do something maybe a little bit. Uh, later but that's the only one I can see at, at the moment um, okay but when we're talking you said uh, your team just suggested it you yes uh, intraday you know in, when you when you are in the top five intraday it doesn't mean when we put it that mean buy it that mean look it could do something so if they put it in it's because the stock approached a resistance but then you know it's got to break out and do it and you got to wait for the movements and when it's when it comes back you know so now if it doesn't go lower than that here and then break that can happen so we have to warn you before in order to be able to enter in the movement so because it would be you know uh, it would be too easy to put a stock on the website and say okay buy it and then you keep watching the website until we tell you sell it you know it's not even possible because there's just too many people and uh, taking too many uh, different decisions on different stocks. Uh, do you, do your scanner shows which sector can make a move? Uh, why you don't need you don't you don't really need uh, a, uh, a a scanner for that. Uh, you just got to go through your list of uh, index. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, there's only 12 of them. So you go through, go through very simply and you find the real one. And for uh, like, like here, I have them all on, on, on that screen intraday wise. And you can also get them all on uh, within uh, the, the, uh, the, the same list. And you also have it uh, on uh, uh, Gurus that TV where you put all of your sectors all together here. Uh, the only thing you have to do is uh, to check them out and, and look first you have to know the technical analysis theory so you need something and you know so the technology is sideways here there will be a signal but if there's none now so you, you, you just wait until you have some signal at some point like here you know so no matter what the sector is doing it's like the consumer discretionary here where it reverses the trend so in, in uh, or here when it began a new bullish cycle but not here when it is within the sideway movement so it, it, with the proper tool it, it's very right to uh, like to do the scanner will help you to find stock that goes up that goes down you know and uh, and find the winner the loser the most traded and and all kind of stock 
and you have other kind of analysis in the software that can show you who moves within a sector, but not exactly the sector itself. So uh, this is it for now, folks. Uh, look, the gold skill is still coming down too. So uh, in swing trading, it's not the beginning of anything yet, unless the gold would do something this afternoon, which I doubt it would. So thank you very much for attending. We'll see you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.